okay so um once you log into the dashboard the first thing you do is to click on server setup and then you download the soft panel to your desktop or wherever then once you've done that you click on run as administrator to run the tool and um, install the self panel on your system all right so it's important to click on the create a shortcut on the desktop so, so that you can easily um, run the application at any time now when you want to run the application please do click on run as administrator and then go to the app enter your license key and also get your ingrock hunt token from ingrock so i'm just going to create an account on ingrock and um get my hunt token from there so you just watch me do that Okay, so I have created my account to so copy the ONT token and um, head over to the self panel to enter the ONT token and um, click on login. So just take a few moments, then it processes and then it opens the panel. So the first thing is to install the server. Now I have this server already installed on my system but then you just have to install it so i'm just going to demonstrate that when you click on the store server button it will trigger um the zamp installation so so zamp comes built in with what's called apache and um, apache is what actually provides the local server all right now i already installed zamp which is the control um panel that consists of apache and mysquare mysquare is for database management so i've already installed the zamp and as you can see, Apache is already on. Now I'm going to open the ZAMP control panel. So it's coming up now. As you can see on the ZAMP control panel, Apache which served the local server is already on. All right. So I'm going to stop it. And um, I'm going to go to the self panel. I'm going to close it. Now this is just to, to tell you that once the Apache server is not on, the uh, local server is not going to also be on and it's going to reflect on the self panel so now once i try to open the self panel see it doesn't turn on server because apache is off all right so i'm going to close the self panel and then start apache now okay so apache is now started now i'm going to also start um mysql which is the database server is also started also so let me just close the self panel and then reopen it again okay so i'm going to open it again now once i do this it's going to tell me that apache is on my square is on because the local server is currently running okay so now i can get started and create my site um upload files share files because the server is running all right so this is actually how the system works you have to have your server on after you've installed um the self panel so you have to go to the zam control panel to turn on your server now once i do once you also do that you go to the domain list on the self hoster you're going to see the site that you've created you can actually uh, view them you know copy and uh, paste on the browser and need to open them and um, of course before ever you view a site after you created it, you need to start, you need to restart um, the Apache that is stop and start it back again. Now, once you've done that, you can now paste the site that you want to uh, view on your browser and then it will open it up. All right. Okay. So, so that's it. You can delete the site refresh the list from I uh, fetch this uh, the record from the uh what is on the live server now you can upload an image share for example yeah okay 
Okay, you go to Safe Cloud. And you can see the image that you uploaded. You can view it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah because the, the, the at the, at this point the the um self cloud is not turned on so you have to turn it on so that you'll be able to share files to anyone and uh, any part of the world so it's turned on you just have to minimize the window it does the cloud started okay and then you go back to the to the self cloud drive refresh it so now a public shareable URL is now generated, which you can share files to anyone in the part of the world.